So hello again, my name is Johan Falk, I live in Stockholm, Sweden, and I couldn't really stop myself from doing another video. I want to do a more fancy example of rolling dice, um, and I have an example with, which include recursion, which is a really cool programming concept. So I'm going to try that. Instead of rolling a standard uh, six-sided die, I'm going to roll a ten-sided die, uh, which has the special property that if you roll a one, it counts as minus one. And if you roll a 10, then you add another die and add the uh, uh, result to your first uh, result. And if that one is a 10, you add another one and so on and so forth. I'm going to do this, implement this by right, uh, uh, creating a function. Function roll, let's see, let's actually copy this one. Roll a special die. And uh, this one right now uh, returns between one and six. I'm gonna have it between one and 10 instead. Okay, and I said, if uh, the result is one, it counts at minus one. So if result equals one, double equal signs when you compare uh, equalities, equalities, very important. Otherwise you will, will get stuck in programming or you know, well, debugging for a long time. If result is equals one, then result will be minus one. And here you can see what happens. Well, the difference between um, one uh, equal sign and two equal signs. If you have only one here, you will assign the value one to this variable, which is not really what you want. Um, okay, so if you get one, then it counts as minus one. And if the result is 10, then, and this is really cool, then result is result plus roll a special die. So this function would then call itself, which might call itself, call itself, call itself, and, well, unlimited number of times or you know, until the computer explodes or something. Okay, so this one then uh, will roll a special die and return the result. Let's try this. Do I have my temporary function down here? Yes, I do. So I'm going to move it up here. Um, logger log roll a special die. Captain, my captain. Let's go. Um, roll a die, that wasn't really my intention, so. so I get 9, I get 7, I get 8, I get 3, I get 2, I get 5, come on, give me something more than a minus 1, that won't work, and I'm hoping to get something more than 10 eventually. Okay, so what I want to look at is actually distribution here now. If well, if I want to do, we can do that. Let's do that because it's fun. We have already prepared these functions, doing a percentile stuff here. So let's do a function a special die distribution. And well, let's have iterations equals 10,000 must be enough. Start with an empty array and store um, results from the special die roll in this array. So let's do for a variable that goes from one to um, this value and increases once every turn. Result push, uh, roll a special die, okay. And then we need to sort this array. Let's just copy what we did before, sort. And when you copy paste your own code, 
that's a sign that you should do something in a smarter way. Having it in two places and just three lines, that's okay. But if I was if I was to have this in three different places, then I should actually try and consider rewriting my code so that I can call the same code, the same lines, a number of times. Enough of that. So this is then sorted. Let's actually, mm, yeah. Okay, so this this is where I really should start considering uh, refactoring my code because now I'm redoing the same code on you know, pretty many lines on two different places. That's a sign of I need to redo stuff. But let's not do that now. This should be a fairly short video. Okay, so now I call this roll a special die 10,000 times. We sort the results and then we look at the percentile outcome. So let's see what this becomes. Let's have a new sheet for this. Bam. Okay, so this is percentile zero, five, Oh, this is what it kind of looks like then. 10% chance of getting minus one, that makes sense because that's one out of 10. And then you have, yeah, two on each 10% 10, 10 chance of getting a three, 10% chance of getting a seven, makes sense. And then this is where it becomes interesting in the last 10%, sorry. Let's actually have a closer look at the last 10%. Let me take this output. Instead of stepping it forward uh, five steps at a time, let's start at 90 and going up to 100. So here we have 90, 91, and so on. Well, we shouldn't dive too deeply into this. But here you get some. And that's not, well, <laughs> this is not actually a surprise. I leave that as a practice or an exercise for the interested student to, to explain why we get exactly this distribution. And well, what, what do I want to show here? I wanted to show two different things. One is that we can make some tweaks uh, on, in this case, a die roll to have special dice and have those uh, being managed by, by a, a pretty simple script. And I wanted also to show this concept of recursion, a function calling itself until finally resolved, which is kind of cool. I could also mention before closing this video, another way of writing this result equals result plus a new value. That means increasing by this value. That's a shorthand notation for this result plus equals this. Yeah, a bit more difficult to read, but easier to write. And once you've seen it a few times, it becomes natural. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you find, find it useful. Uh, see that it has some potential as a tool when developing board games. And I hope to get back to you with some codes later on dealing with cards, uh, shuffling, dealing, uh, counting uh, probabilities and some other things. Um, see you around. Bye.